It was a winter of change for many longtime Blazers fans. Interim general manager Joe Cronin made the move of breaking up the dynamic duo of Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum. C.J. now plays for the Pelicans. Fox 12's Nick Krupke caught up with the New Orleans star. The new dad is back home tonight in Rip City to face his former franchise. Nick? Well, guys, not a whole lot of great reasons to come out to the ball yard and check out a Blazer game, but tonight it is special. CJ, of course, back in the house. 564 games as a Blazer, 19 as a Pelican. This, though, of course, his first trip back to Rip City. Seemingly kind of the inevitable became a reality last month. When you show love, you get it back tenfold, and that's how, that's how it's been for me. After nearly nine years of being beloved in Rip City, CJ only looks back with fondness of his time as a trailblazer. You know this is going to happen at some point, but it's good that you know there's you know, happy emotions as opposed to the opposite. And it was a, I, I like, to, like to call it a happy breakup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where you're not bitter at your ex. The Carlton Vineyard owner has plenty of ties back to Oregon, none more so than his wife, Elise, dog Fiona, and firstborn son, Jacoby. I was at peace two months before I was traded. I was at peace. Um, kind of knew what was going to happen. Uh, just, just being honest, I've seen the business. I know how it works. Um, once Neil was, was, was let go, I seen the writing on the wall and where, the, where we were kind of trending. You know, Dame obviously eventually shutting it down. Like, you kind of see, like, where this is heading. And obviously, I've never really been a part of losing, you know, to that extent. CJ slept in his own bed last night and plans on keeping his home in West Lynn in a special place and embraced him for a decade. I'm appreciative of that and thankful. And um, this, this organization has, has been great to me. You know, they were they were terrific throughout my career uh, with my family, um, with the transition that we had to make, being patient and giving me a chance to be the best version of myself. McCollum was shipped south to Louisiana along with the remaining 69 million bucks on his deal. Larry Nance Jr. and Tony Snell came as well for Josh Hart, a first round pick and others. And since February's move, the Pels are 500. CJ is booming on the Bayou. Career highs in points, rebounds, assists, and field goal percentage, while Portland has dropped 14 of 16 games in some of the most lopsided results. We felt like this could be, you know, good for, for all parties, and there was no need for it to, you know, go south or go sour after the, the relationship um, that we built. Yeah, the only Blazer in that starting lineup tonight that CJ actually played with, CJ Ellaby. It's Portland's 32nd different starting five this season. They'll pay a visit to McCollum in the Big Easy next week, their final road trip of the season. This is the penultimate home game, only one more to go next Sunday. Home with the Jazz to also celebrate the legacy of the Shawns, Bill Shinley, retiring here for his ambassadorship with the Trail Blazers. For Portland, of course, they're just looking towards the lottery in June. They got at least one pick, and if New Orleans doesn't make the playoffs, They'll have two potentially in the top ten. Live at Moto Center, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.